Hello guys, today we have this uh, Xiaomi TV. This is 55 inch Xiaomi TV that has a problem with the uh, uh, blank screen. The TV lights up a little bit that uh, showing that the backlight is on, but there are no image on the screen. There's no logo, there's no nothing. Yeah, the backlight is still working. The backlight LED is still on but there's no pictures so yeah uh, we're gonna check this maybe i'm gonna open okay let's get started and this is a xiaomi l55m6 6a eu it's 150 watt led tv okay let's unplug this And this is our power supply and main board. This flexible cable is going to the Ticon board. Maybe I'm gonna open this cover also. Okay, to open this plastic cover, this is very difficult. This is very hard to open. They are not using screws anymore. They are using a all plastic clip all plastic clip and if you are mistaken opening this you will destroy this you will damage this cuff and this sensitive uh, circuits here so you need to be extra careful to open this uh, panel cover here they are only using a clip plastic clip they are not using screws anymore in this model this is a very fragile okay this is our ticon board with these two flexible cable i want to check which part is broken usually these two flexible cables represent the picture on the left and the right screen so i'm gonna test i'm gonna unplug this one of the flexible cable on the left Okay, I already unplugged the left side, the LVDS cable, flexible cable. And let's try to plug to the power. Yes, we have the logo there. I think the left side is uh, broken. We need either to check the Ticon board or the panel board here. But I already checked, there is some uh, capacitor there, some small SMD capacitors. I already tried to check them and seems to be they are okay, all the capacitors. The backlight is on. Yeah, we have a picture on the right side. It means this, this side is a good and this side is bad it's not showing uh, pictures so the next step is we need to focus on the this left panel or the cables or the ticon itself maybe the ticon for the left side is broken sometimes this ic's is broken you need to replace because of overheat or anything else so usually this ic is broken but to replace this ICs, you need to have uh, air soldering and flux and of course the skill to uh, extract the ICs, the broken ICs. Another way is you can buy this online. You can buy it from eBay, AliExpress or any electronic store near your house or electronic suppliers online. You can buy this uh, one full set of T-Con board. And to buy this board, there are code here, this is very small, ST something, even I cannot read from the camera. 
you need to write down this code and just search on aliexpress ebay or any other electronic suppliers online or you can find the ic's code if you have proper uh, tools and proper skills you may replace this ic also okay to test this screen panel is there is any short capacitor you can use a multimeter with diode and continuity test this is the symbol diode and continuity test so when you touch two probes it will be beeping so usually i just touch the body for the ground so for example this the brown small cube is a capacitor one of the side is connected to the ground and the other side must not connected to the ground so the other side should be no connection if this beeping in the both side beeping so the capacitor is short so this is good this is also good even this small one is good so i already check all the capacitors in the screen panel this is also has a capacitor all capacitor is good from this uh, left panel so my suspicion is we have a broken ic's here from the ticon board hello guys today my uh, ticon board already arrived uh, this is a new ticon board timer controller board for this Xiaomi TV I got it from Aliexpress online so you can just put the code here this is the serial number for the board or this one and you will get some result and make sure all the IC's position and the screw position are the same make sure all the screws the IC's position are the same the code the serial number are, are the same so yeah I'm gonna try this and let's see how it works okay now let's try to plug to the power yes we have the full logo now from the Xiaomi we have a working screen now yes it is working Android logo yeah we have a working TV now full screen So guys, this is the LVDS that the left side is broken. It's showing black screen. And we have this 60 pin. This is pin number 1 and this is pin number 60. And as you can see here, uh, we have clock 1, clock 2, clock 3, pin connection until clock 8, STV, VSSG, VSS foreground and VSS Q. This is actually foreground. As you can see here, we have GAM channel also. This is for the gamma correction. This is for color uh, channels that showing red, green, blue into your TV. So if your TV losing red color, green color, it must be a problem in this uh, lines area. And also we have a different routing map for the 60 pin. Maybe in this Xiaomi 60 pin, the first pin is a clock and any other brand, Sony, LG, maybe the first pin is a VCC, fault, ground. And also for the smaller TV, maybe we, we only have only 30 pins. So yeah, you need to identify which uh, line is uh, failing. The best way is you need to uh, replace the Ticon board. I think that is the most 
effective and most fastest way to solve the screen problem whenever it's a blank screen a losing color or lines this is the board that's responsible for those problems so I'm gonna try to do the tape trick so I'm gonna cover this uh, I try to cover clock 1 until clock 8 I'm gonna try with these tapes Okay, let's run on the power and press the button. And yeah, we have the logo appears now, and both sides, left and right. So let's see the color if it's losing red or any other colors. Let's see, yeah, I think we have the red color there, except we have uh, lines here. Yes, we have a uh, little bit lines. Okay, turns out uh, I blocked the lines for nine lines. Nine lines I blocked, and we need to find where is the failing lines. In this case, we have uh, eight clock lines, so I'm gonna try again. So I'm gonna reduce the lines, and let's try again. Okay, I think this is. Uh, I think this is eight lines close and yeah let's check it okay let's plug to the power again with the eight lines block or close let's turn on the power button and we still have the lines Yeah, we still have the lines after we are closing the eight lines but the color is uh, correct we don't lose any color we have red there so i'm gonna unplug and i'm gonna experimental i'm gonna decrease the lines again so now we try uh, seven lines seven lines block and let's try again and then plug the power turn on the tv i think we have uh, less horizontal lines here than before and we still have the right color we have blue there we have red okay i'm gonna try to decrease again Let's unplug the power. Okay, now I close six line. I close six line with the tapes from pin number one, clock one until clock six. I close. Okay, let's see how it works again. And we have logos Xiaomi, Android logo TV. And yeah, the lines is gone. The horizontal line is gone now. We have red color there, we have blue. I think this is correct. We need to close six lines from the clock lines. As you can see, we don't see any lines anymore. Okay. okay guys we are finally fixed the blank screen TV on uh, Xiaomi 55 inch 
it involves trial and error that I'm doing before. Turns out it's we have this uh, 60 pin, it's pin number 60, this is number 1. So the first checkpoint is we need to make sure which region are bad. From our testing, this right section, this right region is good, the half of screen is good, and the left section is bad or dead. Yeah, turns out it has uh, broken lines maybe, failing lines from the clock lines, CK1, CK2, CK3. I block the clock lines 1 into 6 and turns out the TV is working again with the correct color and no lines appears, horizontal lines. And another thing is I already buy a new board and I try it and it's turned out it's missing red channel colors from this board. So I guess this board is a, maybe a third party board as you can see even the the code are, are the same and as you can see the physical appearance is identical even the code are the same but the serial number here are different so i guess this is yeah this is the third party board that not compatible with this kind of tv maybe it will compatible with other tvs as you can see even for one model xiaomi model is produced in different region asia europe middle east so maybe they are designing this uh, differently from one region to the others so yeah a tip from me if you want to buy a new board the ticon board for this tv just try to contact the xiaomi authorized service center check if they have uh, the same model same number same serial number and another tip is if you don't want to waiting in line for the waiting for the service center to get your TV done, yeah, you need to have a proper skill to find which are the failing components are usually these ICs that failing to send the signal to this LVDS. Yeah, you need to have a proper skill to repair this board. You need to analyze which uh, part is failing maybe sometime this ic fail to send the signal here you need to replace this ic with the proper tools also and proper skill or any other components that failing capacitors ic transistor diode and, and anything else and that method is also needs time for you to analyze which part is failing but also it is more effective for me usually because you're still working in the compatible board, the original board. So yeah, that's my tips for you. How to fix your Xiaomi TV, 55 inch. And I hope this is helps and we can learn something new today. And thank you for your like and subscribe. It will support me making more videos in the future. And again, thank you so much. Terima kasih and bye bye.